Hello Sagittarius, it is the Sun Sage back to do another August reading for you guys. This will be for those of you who are Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and for those of you who are cross watchers connecting to Sagittarius, all right? So we're going to see what's going on for you guys, what's coming in in your love life for this last week, last week and a half of August, okay? Keep in mind, these are general messages, guys. They will not resonate for every Sagittarius or for each of you who are connected to a Sag. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Just check me out the next reading, all right? So let's get into it and see what's going on that's coming in for your love life, Sagittarius, or your connection. What's going on for Sagittarius? Some main messages, please. We have love making, okay? So that's good. <laughs> What else do we have for Sag? Two can play that game. All right. And um, sinking hearts. I was just about to say, I feel like you guys have met your love match. Look, marriage material at the bottom. So yeah, I feel like you guys have met your match, right? In a love sense, in a sort of, the, this person challenges you as well. This person could be a fire sign like you. I'm getting a lot of passion and heat and fire here. Um, they could also be a water sign. So, um, yeah, let me see how Sag is feeling about their persons. <clears throat> how is Sag feeling towards their person? Blessings. You feel like they're a blessing to you, Sagittarius. All right, so that's beautiful. How is Sagittarius person feeling about them? All right, what's their vibes? Feelings. Yeah, that's why I said water. I'm picking up somebody. You guys are in your feelings about this person. It's very passionate. It is very like sort of out of this world. I'm picking up. You guys have a really great bond with somebody. Um, blessings. How does Sagittarius feel about their person? Page of Swords. Okay. Some of you don't trust them or you don't trust the people around them. Yep. Seven of Wands. You're like, I'm going to defend mine, right? Nobody's taking mine. Okay. You guys are super uh, possessive over your person. You do not play about them. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. And how is your person feeling about you, Sagittarius? The world. Okay. You can be representing that you are their world. Um, King of Swords. Okay, and how is Sagittarius person feeling about them? Queen of Wands, that can be you. Also, Leo Aries, you guys have an Aquarius here. Yeah, those are the energies I'm picking up right now, okay? So let's get into it. Sinking hearts, you guys are connecting to somewhat of a twin flame or a soulmate here for sure. Your hearts are in sync. It feels like you're on the same page, but I do feel... Like one or both of you are very possessive over each other and you do not like when somebody is messing with your person. You don't like when somebody is messing with you over your person and you will quickly get into this energy, right? If it feels like somebody is coming in between your connection, mainly because you feel like this person is a blessing to you and like they were gifted to you by the universe. So you're very protective of that gift. King of Wands, Page of Swords, um, very protective of this person. Um, some of you have been watching closely uh, your person's connection, possibly with an Aries. This could be a coworker or somebody. Yep. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So yes, I'm not seeing that. <laughs> I do feel like your person is not engaging, but I do feel like there's somebody being very flirty with your person right now. And that's sort of an energy that's coming up. For you and why you're feeling super defensive of them because I don't feel like you have any problems with your person just mainly somebody who could be um if I said Aries I meant to say Leo for King of Wands but yeah that could be Aries too but also you you know I feel like you guys have a strong passion for this person and you would do anything for them okay you would fight for them so I do feel like you're being put in a situation right now where you feel like somebody may be trying to come in between you and this person, the magician, um, Aries energy, also Gemini, Scorpio, the sun at the bottom of the deck. Lots of positive energies. Uh, let's see. Um, you guys are manifesting something in the future with your person that they may or may not be aware of right now. I feel like some, the sun is showing up, showing that something is going to come to light, but I feel like you're manifesting something very special for this person, okay? And you don't want anything to mess with that or come in between that. Why is the magician here? 
you're creating something special page of wands um some of you are planning this is interesting but i am getting that there's a somebody planning a proposal or something to their person hmm I see someone creating an invitation, creating an invite to send, to invite someone, to invite people, to show your gratefulness for your person or something. Someone's person has a birthday coming, seven of wands, and you're very uh, defensive about this information that could be coming out. Eight of swords. Yeah, you are you got a tight grasp on this person and, and something. Um, some of you could be trying to cheer your person up. Five of cups. They may have experienced some loss recently. They may have been going through a lot recently with the five of cups. So you want to uh, surprise your person with something and you're sending out invitations or there's some sort of... Um, celebration or something coming up um i do feel like how you're feeling towards your person is um you're feeling a little bit like they have sort of closed you off a little bit i don't feel like this is a major um energy it feels like something that's temporary six of pentacles they're not their giving self they're not their usual self here they're very generous um they're very kind and right now it feels like they're carrying a burden ten of wands so i feel like the energy coming up for the next week or two week and a half is that you guys are trying to do something special for the person that you love because they could be going through something very stressful ten of wands here nine of pentacles you're planning this on your own for your person you're taking care of business <laughs> right you could be having to do this on your own page of swords there may have been some bad yeah i feel like there was either some bad news or just some real messed up information that came through um not about your person but that's impacting your person sagittarius why is the page of swords here with this um ace of pentacles it's a blessing in disguise all right, Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. This is a blessing in disguise. You guys are dealing with a lot right now. So that's what's coming through with this person. There's good news coming in. There's bad news. There's good days. There's bad days in this connection right now. But there is something coming in that you're helping to create for this person. Um, travel, possibly, but not really seeing that. I'm just seeing some sort of big thing you're planning for them. All right. So yeah, your person feels like they have, you know, feelings about a lot of things right now because they are so overwhelmed with something going on in their life. And yes, they may have experienced some sort of loss recently or some sort of emotional challenge recently. And you guys are offering them something beautiful and amazing to cheer them up. Why is the world here for how Sagittarius person feels about them? Um, the lovers. Okay. So yeah, you're their twin. You guys are in sync. You guys are definitely in sync. Queen of Wands shows up again, and that would be you, <laughs> okay? So, yes, you are their sexy, hot uh, little number. They love you. They're passionate about you. Um, they feel grateful to have you. I feel like you guys are entering a new phase of your connection with this person. So when I'm seeing proposal or marriage, there's something happening that's going to take this to the next level. You guys are done, you know, just whatever it is, whatever stage you're at, you're taking it to the next level here. And your person is so ready for that. Your person loves you, Sagittarius, even if right, yes, they love you, Queen of Cups. Even if right now they're going through something and they're feeling emotionally overwhelmed, you guys are a true pair, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> yeah, this feels like an anniversary gift. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you guys have been together for, um, what's the six years or something? And there's a big anniversary gift. They're planning something and you're planning something. So yeah, that's, I'm definitely picking up like someone doing something special for someone and you both have that on your side. So yes. Um, the King of Swords. All right. So yeah, they've been trying to really concentrate and stay focused on serious things. Ace of Swords confirming that um, your person is very, they don't mind telling people how much you mean to them. Look who's at the bottom of the deck. You showing up. Hey, Sag, I see you all in your person's energy. Queen of Wands. 
Yeah, they say amazing things about you, even in the reading. They want, you know, me to know how much they think of you, how much they love you, how much they talk about you to others, how much they care about you. Um, what is this Ace of Swords here? Um, yeah, you're the light of their life with the sun here. Some of you have Leo influence because there's a lot of fire here. Um, but yeah, your person is crazy about you in a good way, you know, not obsessive, but you guys would definitely fight for each other. You guys would cut people off for each other. You guys would do anything for each other. And that's why you look at them as a blessing and you're very serious about them. You do not play about them and they do not play about you, Sagittarius. Um, some of them are going to say, I want to have children. So this is a conversation or truth that is coming out there there once someone wants to have children someone may not okay two of swords so you know prepare but again someone is very positive about the future they're going to have with you and they're ready to take something to the next level all right so why is the sun here what is the sun about um, the three of wands, the future. Okay. They're manifesting this life with you. Yes. Love making lots of passionate intimacy here. Somebody is, um, celebrating an anniversary or you're going to meet up with this person very soon. And you guys are going to have a passionate coming back together. Okay. Queen of wands. Again, you're all in their energy, very fiery, very sexy. Um, you're their trophy person, four of cups, right? This person does know that they have been a little bit emotionally not their best self, that it may feel like they've been turning you down or rejecting you. Some some of you haven't been intimate with your partner in a long time. They've been turning it down because they're going through a lot emotionally in that King of Swords energy. I don't have time for this right now, you know, but they're going to try to make time for you, Sagittarius. I do feel that. What's this Four of Cups? temperance you and making time okay they have a lot on their heart and a lot on their mind right now Sag and it's nothing personal against you they're just dealing with some really heavy stuff and I do feel like some of them may have lost someone or some of them have recently dealt with some disappointment or some bad news so they do want to pour a balm over this connection right now. If things are feeling off, at least in the time you guys spend together, they want to sort of make up for that when it comes to this. Okay. So what other, what's coming in for Sagittarius in their person or in their connection? What's coming in for Sag? Um, the eight of swords. Somebody is a dominatrix. Somebody's getting tied up. <laughs> um, what's coming in for Sagittarius? Knight of Wands. I was about to say kinky for no reason. So somebody is about to get tied up by you, Sagittarius. Okay. Not meaning to put any ideas in anyone's head, but I do feel like this person is a little bit more subdued than you, Ace of Cups, but they'll try anything with you. All right. Um, you're Nine of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Knight of Swords. I feel like I'm peeking into somebody's like boudoir, but there's definitely a lot of kinky stuff going on here. But for what's coming in, I have the Eight of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody, like the only way to sort of get someone to break out of this, um, get your person to break out of this mood they may have been in, is to do something exciting and fun with them. They've been stuck in their head in this, whatever they're focused on for too long, and you guys are coming to break them free. All right. Look at you coming in to rescue your person. Don't play with my person, you know, that sort of energy. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Sagittarius? What's coming in for them? Um, the High Priestess. Okay. So yeah, a lot of you know your person is not at their best right now. They are trying to show up for you. Sagittarius, but um, I feel like they have been wanting to stay to themselves. They've been really quiet or this energy is coming in. If it hasn't happened yet, it's happening. It's coming in, right? But you are going to, I feel, find a way to break them out of this with that Knight of Swords energy. You can always tempt them and seduce them. <laughs> Six of Cups because they, you know, they love being with you. Six of Cups, they love being in your presence. You guys may be married, right? Okay, so Two of Cups, I am picking that up. Soulmate with the Six of Cups. You guys could be married to this person and you already know their moods and how things go down with you guys. But you guys are definitely experiencing a once in a lifetime kind of love here with the Ace of Cups. 
Ooh, Seven of Cups. Definitely once in a lifetime. If the Seven of Cups represents confusion and having too many cups to choose from, too many people to choose from, the Ace of Cups is you solidly made your decision. In this world full of people, you have found someone who is definitely one in a million. One cup, seven cups, right? You made the right choice when it comes to this person, Sagittarius. They are a blessing. They do really love you, but yeah, they're emotionally a little bit not themselves with the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I feel like this reading is specifically for those of you in a relationship with your person. So if this does not resonate, guys, don't try to make it fit. What is the Nine of Swords energy? The star. Yeah, this person needs a little bit of healing from their Sag because there you go again. Okay, hey, Sag. But yeah, this person has been having trouble sleeping. All right, your person was coming in is they're going to ask you for help or some sort of healing and you being the loving partner that you are, you are going to be supportive of them. You are going to be there for them. You guys are in a connection with a true soulmate and somebody that is going to, no matter what they're going through, going through, they're going to always come back to you and always see the value in you and your relationship with them. So that is a blessing. All right. So actually, that's what I have for you, Sage. That's an amazing reading. That's probably the best reading I've done, what, all year. But yeah, that's a great reading for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box and I will talk to you soon.